Yes, we're good. Hi, welcome. I'm Janet Thibodeau, and I'm so happy that you joined us for this HostGator Facebook Live segment. Today, I've got a guest. I've got Blair Williamson, who is the content lead for HostGator. Hey, Blair, how you doing? Hey, I'm great. <laughs> happy to have a co-host here today. Um, today, we're going to talk about WordPress and website builders. We're going to talk about what each of them are, the benefits that they offer and the kind of user or website that they're going to be, that they would be most appropriate for. Uh, before we start, I want to uh, define one thing, a content management system. If you've looked into starting a website, you've probably run across WordPress website builder in this term content management system. It's usually shortened to CMS. Blair, uh, can you help define what a content management system is? Sure. A content management system is the software that you would use to um, edit your website if you are not planning to write your website from code. So a content management system, the way it works is it separates the content from the design so that when you go in to edit the text or the photos or the links on your website, you won't be messing with the design at the same time. We refer to the WYSIWYG editor, what you see is what you get. So it's an easy way to edit the text and the words and the links um, without really messing with the structure or the design of the site. Awesome. Um, speaking of, why don't you talk about website builders? What's a website builder? Right, well, a website builder is a content management system and it's a content management system that's uh, designed very much with the user in mind. Um, they usually get a set of pre-designed web page templates or themes that uh, pretty much a novice user can then go in and just update the themes with the copy and the images that they want, you know, so that the website can become their own. Uh, you, there are different website builders, but most of them do come with drag and drop options. So pretty much you can just drag and drop your way, you know, into a site, super easy to use. So what are some features of, or features or benefits of a website builder? Like why would someone choose a website builder over anything else? Right, um, you know, like I said, the, the, the main thing about a website builder is how easy it is to use. So that's the first thing I wanna talk about is just the simplicity that you get when you choose a website builder. Um, they're gonna come with probably quite a few design templates that you can to choose from. And a design template is gonna be, basically the structure of each web page is gonna be laid out. Um, so then you can go in, like I said, and add your copy and images where you want. Uh, but the website builders do give you some functionality. It's not like every website is going to look the same. If you pick the same thing, you can um, go in and easily add your brand colors. Uh, and if you add it in one place, it's going to propagate throughout your whole site. So you don't have to worry about updating any CSS code um, or changing every page. You can update your colors, your fonts, and then once you get that structure like you want it, you know, then you start adding your images and your copy, and you can even move elements around the page, again, with the drag and, drag and drop functionality. You don't have to add any special code. Um, <clears throat> so this, you know, because it's so easy to use, the second feature I want to talk about is how fast you get a website up. If you're really looking to just get something up and running, you don't want to learn HTML, you don't want to add a lot of unique software to it, uh, picking a website builder is going to be a great option if you can use a content editor um, and you know use a mouse to just drag elements around you can get your website up literally just in a few clicks um, so the third thing we want to talk about that's cool about the website builder is it's it's going to be kind of an all-encompassing um you know one-stop shop to get your website up one login you know one dashboard to do all these cool things so um what you get with that is that you don't have to add any software, you don't have to write any code, you don't have to look externally for plugins or features that you wanna add. If you find the right website builder, um, those features are gonna be gonna be available. You're gonna be able to add things like, you know, buttons, call to action buttons, contact forms. Um, you know, it's just great because it's all just a single login. Everything is there. You don't have to worry about software compatibility, uh, but there are different website builders on the market, of course. So it's a great idea to have, um, you know, kind of a plan for what you want your website to do and the kind of functionality you want to offer to your users so that when you pick a website builder, you know, those things are possible. So 
I hope that kind of covers most of it. Right. So speaking of different website builders on the market, HostGator did recently release our own website builder. It's called the Gator Website Builder. Um, Jana, can you talk about some features of Gator Website Builder and how it's unique from other competitors on the market? Yeah, of, of course. We are very excited uh, with the release of the new uh, Gator Website Builder. Uh, some of the things that we think make it really stand above other competitors out there um, and that we're super happy to bring it to market. One of the things is that we do offer a, um, a free photo library, stock photos. So you don't have to go out and find those free photos, worry about copyright issues, uh, you know, pay for subscription photos or even professional photography. If it's not appropriate for your site, you can search our library. And then again, just drag and drop the picture you want onto the website uh, where it needs to go. We have a really cool ability to easily create a blog. You don't have to decide up front if you're doing a website or a blog. Um, again, in the dashboard, you just click that you want to create a blog. You can select the design that you want for your blog. Um, you know, write your posts out. And when you're ready to go live with those, it's going to automatically add that link to your site so that the world can see that you're now publishing blogs. So the blog and the website are in the same, um, you know, in the same dashboard. And I guess a couple of things that really help it stand out, talk about, you know, your, your added benefits is we've got an e-commerce package. It is an upgrade to the website builder, but it's going to have everything you need to sell your products and services online. We have multiple uh, payment processing options. So we'll have the one that's, the, you know, that's going to be compatible with your bank. Uh, it's going to give your customers secure checkout. You can't, it will automatically calculate currencies based on where you are. Um, and do cool things like help you track inventory based on, you know, product purchases. Uh, I guess the last thing I want to mention real quick is, is the analytics package. We've got um, analytics built right in to the, to the dashboard. So again, you talk about, you know, I was talking about one login for everything you need end to end. You can totally do that with Gator Website Builder. Um, and I know these are just a few of the features. There's so many great things about it. We've in fact done a webinar and a couple of blogs. So I'm going to put um, a link to the webinar in the comments below, if you want to see more about these features or find out what else it can do, it's a great demo that kind of shows you end to end uh, how to create a website with Website Builder. So we'll put the webinar in the um, in the comments below and you guys can do more research if you want. Uh, so I've talked about Website Builder quite a bit. <laughs> so let's talk about the other thing we're here to find out. Uh, and that is, you know, what does WordPress have to offer? Why would somebody, you know, want to pick a WordPress website? Yeah, so WordPress is the number one most popular content management system in the world. About 30% of people who are using a content management system will be using WordPress. Uh, WordPress was originally created as an, it's an open source content management system. So that means that anyone in the world can contribute code, apps, plugins, etc., and can contribute to the platform of WordPress. And I think that's what made it so popular to begin with. Um, I want to talk about some things that are uh, make WordPress really unique and some benefits of WordPress and why you might consider WordPress for your website. Cool. First of all is the flexibility. So because I said that WordPress is an open source content management system, there are a ton of plugins and apps that people have created for WordPress. And you can really choose whatever you need your website to do, download and install it into WordPress and really make a robust website. Um, it does require some configuration, so you might wanna think about that when you are setting up a website, if you need to do some research to find the plugins that you might need for your needs. Mm -hmm. So you do have to do a little bit more configuration than you would with a website builder. Um, the second thing that's really great about WordPress are the design templates. So WordPress comes with a handful of design templates already installed. But like I said, because it's open source and anyone can contribute to WordPress, there's a ton of businesses that were created just to create design templates for WordPress. So you can go online, you can find more WordPress templates, you can choose the one you like, purchase it, download and install it onto your WordPress website. You can also with WordPress, you can modify the CSS to truly customize that template for your brand. So if you know CSS, you can do that and you can customize it even further, such as like hiding different elements on the homepage and that sort of thing. Um, the third thing that I want to talk about 
um, is multiple user accounts. I think that this might be one of the biggest uh, benefits of WordPress versus a website builder is that you can have multiple user accounts for one website. So let's say you have one person who works in your warehouse and stock team who's going to be responsible for uploading new products to the website, and making sure that the inventory number is correct. That person can have their own user account. And then maybe you have a PR person who's writing blog posts for the website. That person can have their own account to log in and edit the website. And each account can have its own permissions to edit certain sections or maybe to write, but not to publish or not to delete, et cetera. So I think that's a really big benefit that WordPress offers is the ability to have multiple user accounts if that's something that you think you need. Yeah, that's definitely a different feature. Um, you're talking about WordPress being open source and that you know anybody can create plugins and add-ons to it. Uh, does that mean that the software is free? So yes and no. WordPress itself is free as the software to edit your website with, but you still need to be able to post your website on the internet. So if you have your own servers that are connected to the internet, then sure, it's not gonna cost you anything extra. You can just download WordPress and use it for your website. Most people aren't in that position and right. a lot of people do still need website hosting. So that's where your website hosting company comes in. It's like renting the space online. You're renting a little bit of server space from a web hosting company to get your website up live online and make sure it stays online. So um, you can use WordPress with almost any web hosting company. Um, with HostGator, we do have a web hosting package that's specific to WordPress. It's two and a half times faster load times to be able to handle the robust functionality and space required with WordPress. So um, yes, you can get it for free, but you have to ha get, be able to get it online. And that's the part where you're gonna have a little bit of fee involved. So there's always a catch. And no matter which uh, choice you, know, you think would be right for your website, having a host to provide your site is probably the way most, especially small websites are gonna need to go. Right. Um, so awesome. We've covered, you know, some very cool things that website builders can do for you, what WordPress can do for you. Um, I'm just going to recap real quick what I what I've said and what I think I've heard um, with a website builder. It's a great option for a, a very beginner person. You get kind of an all inclusive package, one login to get everything you need to get your website online. Super easy drag and drop capabilities. Uh, you don't have to know any coding when you use a website builder. Um, and so, yeah, you can get a great looking website online super fast. Uh, WordPress, it can, you can start with a template, right? And you can get a you know minimal amount of coding, but there probably will be some CSS required if you want to really customize that theme. Um, and it sounds like there's lots of plugins, but then you do have to download the plugins and keep them up to date. Uh, because sometimes they, they uh, you know, the people that write them at the security, different security upgrades and things to them. So you want to make sure those are up to date. Uh, but it's awesome that you can have multiple logins um, for the same account, which I website builders, that's not always going to be an option for you. So, um, yeah, like I said earlier, it sounds like if you want to create a website, you know, kind of figure out what you want your website to do, what you want to offer to your visitors, and then, you know, find the best, uh, the best solution for getting that site online. And either way you need, you know, you're going to need hosting. And so HostGator, of course, has great hosting, whether you choose our Gator website builder um, or go with the WordPress site, we're going to have a package that will get you up online uh, We provide great support. Um, so if, uh, you know, there's so much more uh, about either of these topics, if you want to learn more, we're going to put a couple more li resource links in the comments. We've got some blogs that talk about both of these options um, and again, more pros and cons of why you'd want to go to one. So be sure and check those out before you get online. Um, otherwise, I mean, Blair, anything else we need to touch on here? No, I think you covered it. I think the choice really comes down to you and what is going to work best for you when it comes to managing your website. Both options are gonna give you a really great website and really robust site. It just depends on maybe how quick you wanna get online and how much experience you have. Perfect. 
Um, so yeah, just check out the resources we provide. We'd love your feedback and of course comments on topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. We hope to come back uh, frequently with these Facebook live segments. So I um, hope you guys have the rest of your great day. Thanks again, Blair, for joining me. And um, you're welcome. You Thanks, Jana. <laughs> Bye.